What is up guys, Christian Colorado, coming back at you guys with another great video here. And today we're actually gonna do a shout out to Extreme Philly Fishing. I'm out here today at a very local stream, literally about two blocks away from my house. And basically a lot of people tend to overlook a little stream like this, um, but I've definitely caught a few different species here. And hopefully we could just highlight that guys. But basically the goal today is to do some micro fishing here in this little stream. Uh, we're gonna use a variety of baits. I've caught these fish on soft plastics, uh, but my go-to bait is hot dogs. Guys. And we're gonna showcase that right now, guys. All right, guys, we got the stream right here in front of us. And in the last video, a lot of you guys asked for a bit more details on what I'm fishing with exactly. This right here is actually an Oz Pro 3000 spinning reel. Uh, I was actually sent this for free uh to review but it's a pretty nice spinning wheel it's got a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio uh it's got nine plus one ball bearings and um it's very smooth it's much heavier than i need for today i've got this thing rigged up with eight pound mono trilene uh, i mean so it's definitely heavier for micro fishing uh, but i just really like this setup i just got that paired up on an okuma cyclone x that's actually a seven foot medium heavy rod uh so kind of a heavier setup but this rod's ultra cheap if you could find it. I got it for, I think, 20 bucks if you could find it at the right price. And one of my favorite, more sporty baits to throw down here at this little stream is a little white, is a little white yum grub. Uh, right here, I've actually even bit a little bit of the head off this grub and I've got that on a tungsten, which might even be too small for this jig head, but I know I've caught some fish on it before. We're just going to try this for a little bit, guys, see if we get a few bites on it. But like I've said, hot dog is going to be our go-to bait today, guys, for several species. All right. I'm just going to pitch it in the, in the stream. Guys, we got one. Let's go. Oh. Guys, I'm not even joking with you. That was my first cast with the little white grub and the tungsten. Pretty nice little fish, guys. I could just feel that fish tapping on it as it was falling to the bottom. So it's typically a much more aggressive bite with these grubs. You're not gonna really get that bite when you're bouncing it. It really is a lot of times as it's falling in. Right up off the wall. Maybe we can get one just bouncing it because I did get a bite off the bounce. Damn, I swear that was a bite again. I just keep getting taps, guys, but I'm not getting commitment. So we might have to switch baits here in a minute. All right, guys, well, we managed that one bite on the grub. It's a little slow, but I think we're going to go to a straight up hot dog lure now. I'm going to take this off. I've already opened up the pack of hot dogs. This is a uh, Hebrew national brand, but it really, honestly, doesn't matter. As long as it's not like a spicy, peppery flavor, you know. Break off a good chunk of that meat there. And that's a big brick hot dog ball. Honestly, guys, you don't even need that much at all. This is like way more than you need, but I'm trying to catch the big boys in here. I've still caught several big chubs and other species on smaller pieces of hot dog, but we're just gonna see what happens. Don't wanna waste hot dog. All right, so basically, basically with this hot dog, I mean, you fish it just like any other bottom bait. Oh, there you go. And you'll kill some chubs. Let's see. That's a pretty good one too, guys. I'm gonna try to avoid squeezing this one because I know they're probably, oh God. I'm gonna try to avoid squeezing this one because I know that they're probably spawning. So, dude, I really am. All right. fish here before. Let's see. Oh. Oh, guys, there we go. 
Yes, let me get over here. Guys, that's what I'm talking about. Little secret species like this little green sunfish. A lot of people overlook this little stream and assume that there's no fish in here. But like I said, little, little green sunfish like this, several creek chubs, and flathead catfish on occasion if you can find them. All of them relatively small, but oh my gosh, look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful orange colors on this green sunfish, guys. On the tail and his uh, dorsal fins, guys. Got him. That was a solid hit, guys. Oh, came right off. Guys, a real awesome indicator that there are fish here in this area is that super close by, I'm not even sure if you guys can see them, but there are extremely tiny fish fry right here. And it is the fry of these creek chubs, guys. But yeah, guys, there's a few different species in this river. It's a majority creek chub, but I've caught green sunfish. I've actually caught channel... I've actually caught flathead catfish. Oh, there's another one. And of course, you always get your... Uh, occasional prod add in and the great thing about these guys is not only is it uh it's really awesome to just come out here and catch a few fish in the tough summer heat my bad guys but like i was saying the great thing about these chubs guys is not only are they a great little fish to come out here and just catch on a hot summer day they also equal as really good catfish bait so so sometimes you can come out and have a good time and also just prep for your next trip out, which I actually will be doing in an, in an upcoming video. Oh, there we go. These active feeders will just get it right off the drop like that too, guys. Don't really love touching these guys though. They're pretty damn oily. This second spot is much more productive as well. I'm getting a lot more bites, and that's really what you're gonna wanna look for when you're out on these little stretches of the river. The fish will be either active or not active at all, so you really just kinda gotta look for those fish that are actively feeding. Another one. There we go, guys. Yes, let's go guys, check that out. Guys, that's the third green sunfish we've had out here, guys. So there's definitely a nice little population of these guys sitting in here. Yes, guys, it's another green sunfish. That's back to back green sunfishes, guys. To the little river by my house. Can we go get a boat? What happened? I just caught a fish. Oh, well, guys, we were on the phone and we caught this fish. So, I mean, that's awesome. There's a really good little population of green sunfish down here. Nice. A lot of chubs down here. God, what the heck? Guys, I flipped right around this tree. Look at this chub. Oh my God. That's a good like seven inch creek chub, guys. A little over seven inches. You dang crap. Well, we got him on the tungsten. The best way to get him off is to put him back in the water, so. Why does he want it? He wants it. Oh, 
Oh, guys. Oh my God, yes. Look at that green sunfish. That is a big one. He's beefy, he's eating well. Beautiful green sunfish, guys. And I got him right there on the hot dog, guys, like I said. We're just gonna get this guy back in right underneath his log. But that's a beautiful green sunfish for this particular stream, guys. Now, I didn't really want to film that outro given that I had some water in my camera, but we had a great day out there guys We got on a ton of fish uh, We were able to find those green sunfish guys and so many river chubs and so many crabs that I didn't even include many of those catches guys And although no more caught today I've caught a few bullhead catfish out of the same hundred yard stretch of river and I'll include a brief clip of those fish right here But anyways guys, I just hope that this video shows some of you guys that the gulch does have a nice little array of species down there. And for any of you who do head out there, all I ask is that you are respectful of the waters. As a ton of my favorite fishing spots have been getting absolutely trashed lately. Tons of fishing line and garbage everywhere. But I hope some of you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from the norm. Uh, but as always guys, please be sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll be back at you guys soon with another great video guys. Thank you.